Hello and welcome to the Doxa Conspiracy. Once again, we're playing Chainsaw Warrior. It's time to create our character. Ooh, good endurance number. Excellent. Wounds. I can live with that. Better than last time. Hand to hand is the best. All right, things are looking good. Marksman, pretty good. And reflexes are decent. All right, so we've rolled a pretty good character here. And our skill is climbing. The chasm card can be ignored and you can climb out of the spiked pit trap in no time at all and treat elevator cards as clear cards. All righty then. Equipment points. And eh, it's fair. So we've got five equipment points. I would like... I want two hand-to-hand -hand weapons, because I want to be sure I get something useful there. And let's take a gun. I'll take gun B. And let us take clothing C. And next, skip through the rules. What do we get? For hand-to-hand, -hand, we got the Stunux, adds two to hand-to-hand, -hand, four against mutants and meat machine. And they are electric, as it is indicated by that uh, arrow symbol and that box on the top. Uh, and we have throw nets. In place of hand-to-hand, -hand, you may throw one of these to immobilize one opponent and defeat it. Doesn't affect darkness or meat machine or protect you from radiation or venom advancement. Alright, gun, automatic rifle, we're familiar with that already. And nothing there, nothing there. Clothing, IR goggles. With these, you can see perfectly in the dark and don't need to take a combat minus. Let's hope we make it that far. Tainted Rat Pack. Shoot. Roll lower than a nine. Done. Higher than five or equal to. And done. Encountered a trap. Unless you have a lockpick, you must smash the door. Alright. I don't have a problem with that. No big deal. I'm gonna click wait. Because I'm curious what wait actually does. What the benefit of it is. Why you would possibly want to lose 30 seconds. So, in the uh, interest of science or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna wait. Alright, so I waited and I get to fight a zombie. Lucky me. I'm not really sure how that was supposed to be helpful. Another zombie? Well, let's shoot again. We're getting lucky with the shots so far. Haven't had to enter hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is a clear room. You can use the space to reload a weapon. Blah, blah, blah. Let us continue. All right, another empty room. Mutant thing, take 1d6 of radiation damage before you fight. Fortunately, I have very good endurance for that sort of thing. Shoot him. Doesn't have a great score against mutants, but usually things don't. The Stunox do. And we're gonna have to go hand to hand, so let's use the Stunox. Roll more than a five. Yes. Clear room. No wandering zombie. Unless you have... Oh, it's another door. Shoot it. Alright. Zombie. A very weak zombie. I'm just gonna hand-to-hand -hand it right away. And he can't win. Another mutant thing. Son of a... Ugh. Hmm. I'm debating whether I should try to shoot him because I'm running out of ammo on that thing quick. I'm just going to go straight to hand-to-hand. -hand. Because this thing has a bonus against mutants and my hand-to-hand -hand is great. Roll more than a six. Oh. I've already got nine... Uh, I've already got nine radiation. 
Stunux. Come on. Roll more than a four. And it's done. A zombie. Let's hand to hand the zombie. Roll more than a two. I can do that. Empty. Another zombie. More hand to hand. We're doing fairly well, other than that nine radiation poisoning. Oh, give me a break. There's a wandering zombie there. I win. We'll just keep on hand-to-handing these zombies. Because if they roll enough, I don't even have to roll. Uh, floorboards. Test your reflexes. If you fail, you fall through. And lose minutes. Crap. I lost four minutes. Holy... Uh, holy damn. That sucks. Cave-in. So, this one will do the same thing, but I can also get hurt and break equipment. Awesome. But we avoided that one. Empty. No wandering zombie. Oh my god, another mutant thing? Are you serious? Shoot him. Alright, good, 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 good. Another door. Oh, I'm having to use this rifle too much, man. I don't want to run out. Empty. Empty again. Knockout specialist. If he hits you, 3d6 are rolled and you will lose that many minutes. So basically, I'm entirely screwed if he hits me. Uh, we're gonna just go straight to hand to hand. Stunox. Need to roll more than a two. And I do. Razor wire. Unless you have wire cutters, lose one to three minutes. Uh, damn it. That is not cool. Go, go, go. Hand to hand this bitch. Empty. I need to find a secret passage and skip. I am psychic, apparently. Secret passage. Skip 2d6 of cards, choosing whether to skip each one before turning it over. Seven cards. Great. Bypass. Next. Bypass. Next. Bypass. Next. Bypass. Next. Bypass. Next. Bypass. Next. Bypass. Alright, very cool. So we have uh, gotten to card 35 with 40 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Here's a zombie. Hand to hand. Stunux. He can't win. Empty. No wandering zombie. Empty again. Alright, we can take... A I'm gonna take a clip of the automatic rifle. And next. Next. And next. Zombie. Just go ahead and hand to hand him like we always do. And he can't win. All electronic equipment has been disabled for seven... Oh, no. That means the stunnocks are disabled. Ah, uh, Something just had to happen, didn't it? Stupid magfield. So, until that gets to... So, until it's night, basically, I can't use the stunnocks. Clear. No wandering zombie. Empty. A zombie. Uh, my hand to hand's still pretty good without the stun ox. But I've got a uh, reload of this now, so I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot him. Didn't work. 
And he still can't win, even if I can't use my stun X. A trap. It's a locked door, so shoot it. And we got it. A zombie. Let's try to shoot him. Come on. Oh, are you serious? I need to roll more than a nine. Failed. And now I have Venom, too. Great. That's cool. And he rolls really high again. And I don't win again. Uh, hand to hand. More than a seven. Equals. Well, we're chewing up time until I get my stun ox back. Can this guy not roll a low roll? There. Roll more than a three. Finally. How much ammo do I have? Oh, my stun ox are back. Oh, wait, no. They're down for five more turns, it says right here. Okay. Uh, one more use in the gun, so we don't need to reload it yet. <laughs> Zombie. Let us shoot him. And we did it. So let's reload the automatic rifle. And a zombie comes at us while we're reloading. Cool. And higher than six to hit. Or equal to six works. Next. Alright, no wandering zombie in the clear room. We're almost out of deck one for the first time in this video series. Slime can only be damaged by laser lance, acid, flare gun, or flamethrower. Slime will smother and kill you on a single successful hit. And my laser lance is still out of action for one round. Oh no. This can't be happening. This... If I... Oh my god. If I don't roll at least a nine, I'm dead. Oh, I was doing so well, and then this. Let's just do it. The slime has smothered you. Death by a crushing asphyxiation follows. And the last thought in your head is that darkness will now win. Oh. The frustration is epic. All right. All right. Anyway, if you enjoyed that video and you want to see more, hit that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. You can hit the subscribe button down below. Oh, and see me get more and more frustrated. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.